Question 7. The table shows the physical properties of four substances. Which substance has a giant covalent structure? So for the substance has giant covalent structure, we know that the melting point and boiling point is relatively higher, which means A and B cannot be the answer because the melting point and the boiling point for the A and B they are quite low so these two cannot be the answer because most likely these two will be the simple structure so it's just C or D now so we can use the, the other uh, physical properties uh, to compare like uh, electrical conductivity uh, in a solid liquid uh, and in aqueous district. So for this uh, C, electrical conductivity of liquid is good. So it's telling us that most likely uh, this giant structure it's a uh, ionic structure giant ionic so because when it's in liquid form when it's melt so those ions can move and carry the charge so this one therefore uh, we know that uh, c is the ionic compound it has a giant ionic structure and of course when this uh, ionic compound for example, uh, like a sodium correct, uh, when it dissolves in the water, form a solution, also it can conduct uh, electric. For the D, uh, this is quite clear. Uh, the, uh, this is a giant covalent structure compound. Why? Because the electrical conductivity of solid okay, is not good. Electrical conductivity of liquid is also not good. So it's, uh, for example, uh, like uh, carbon, uh, the, the aerotroph of carbon, like diamond, right? So, uh, and uh, this uh, silicon uh, and uh, the others. So when uh, it's in liquid form, it cannot really carry the charge also, right? Like the silica, SiO2. So it cannot really carry the, the charge. So, and this uh, is quite obvious. This giant covalent structure, like the silica, SiO2, uh, it cannot really dissolve in the water. Of course, uh, like these uh, carbons, uh, the graphite or the diamond also insoluble. So therefore, quite, it's quite clear that answer is D, right? So. Uh, the compound D, right, it has a giant covalent structure. Question 8. At room temperature and pressure, H2O is a liquid and H2S is the gas. Now it's different state. And these two compounds is have different states because of one reason just only one reason so you just need to link to the IMF intermolecular force because their intermolecular force different so it will give different state because the intermolecular force in this H2O is stronger so it will be a liquid form and the intermolecular force in the H2S is weaker, so therefore it's in gas form. So you can get the answers easily. Uh, before we discuss these, uh, these uh, four answers, so let's uh, move on to this diagram. So for this H2O, we know that it can form hydrogen bonding. So means, the hydrogens that bond to the oxygen will form hydrogen bonds with the lone pair on the 
another oxygen. So this is how the hydrogen spawn form. So it must has the lone pair and the hydrogens bond to the oxygens foreign and nitro nitrogen. So this is the strongest intermolecular force among the three. Uh, the three intermolecular force we have the IDID, PDPD, and hydrogen bond. So hydrogen bond is the strongest uh, the intermolecular force. For the H2S, uh, so it's just uh, form permanent dipole, uh, permanent dipole forces. So means uh, it's just uh, between the H2S, this one, these molecules, and these molecules, it just can form dipole dipole forces because it's not really uh, polar enough compared to this H2O because the hydrogen is just bonded to sulfur. Sulfur is less electronegative compared to oxygen. So therefore, between these two molecules, it just able to form the uh, dipole dipole, or you can say PDPD. So now, uh, answer is very clear. Uh, it's not the it's not A because it's uh, ionization energy. No. For the B, the covalent bond between O and H is stronger. Uh, this is not about covalent bonds uh, in the molecule. It's between the molecules. That's why B also not the answer. So C, there is a significant hydrogen bond between H2O but not H2S. So this is the answer. Because the H2O, it can form the strongest intermolecular force which is the hydrogen bond and for the d of course not the answer are the instantaneous dipole induced dipole means id id forces between the h2o molecules are stronger than the instantaneous dipole uh, induced dipole forces between the h2s um okay you have to understand the instantaneous dipole induced dipole uh, is mostly affected by the uh, the numbers of electrons more electrons the id id is actually stronger so therefore if we just focus on id id because h2s is has more electrons than h2o because the sulfur is larger. So it's actually this one it has a stronger ID ID. But but you have to understand the hydrogen bonding is dominant. So because it's much stronger than the ID ID. So the different states here is must because of the hydrogen bond, not ID ID. So this is not the answer. Okay, so answer confirmed is C. Okay, that's all. Thank you.